Welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities on, of course, our Monday morning, and we are getting ready for the Super Bowl. Cannot wait. We were I just know. discussing strategy. <laughs> He's wanting to know how Denver can win, and I just told him, and it's the truth. Well, that's part of it, but there's some other things they can do to And a lot of prayer might work. Hey, yeah. know, <laughs> well, Bill, it is great to have you back on great the show. Great to be back. We have a tradition here on Daytime. You come and join us every Monday after the Super Bowl, and you show off your work of art that was taken from a moment during the Super Bowl. That's right, the night before. So but this year we're switching it up a little bit. We're getting yeah. ready for the Super Bowl. Yeah, since it's the 50th, I thought we had discussed that it might be a good idea to show some of the paintings that I've done of the Super Bowls in the past that we've shown on this show, some that we haven't, and then some of the paintings of Super Bowls that I've done just to commemorate that particular Super Bowl, you know, like the Jets from 68. Right. I was a little too young to paint them, <laughs> but I watched the Super Bowl. I met I Joe Namath one time. Did you really? I met Joe no. Namath. Shook his hand. So. Yeah, yeah, he's that. The New York Jets are my team, so uh, that's the first Super Bowl I saw, mm -hmm. and I've been a fan ever since. What right. triggered this? Like well, deciding actually, to do this well, every, because that's a lot to do in one particular evening. Yeah, well, I think what had happened was I was working with the NFL at the time when the when the Titans, then Oilers, had moved into Nashville, and uh, Bill Mead uh, suggested that I do it, uh, who has the radio, the sports radio show. Right. And uh, and I thought, well, I said we'll give it a try, and uh, and I did it and liked it, enjoyed it, and I've been doing it ever since. All right, so you picked out one for today. Yeah. So what uh, do we have? Well, this one, this is when New Orleans beat uh, uh, the Colts. I believe this is Super Bowl 43, and uh, uh, this one, uh, this was one of those all-nighters. Uh, it took me all night to do it, and uh, uh, I was uh, really impressed with the way Drew Brees, even though I was rooting for Peyton, uh -huh. I was real impressed with the way Drew Brees was able to, to handle that defense and uh, and just capturing that moment when that yeah. defense is trying to to uh, uh, take him down, but they couldn't do it. He played an awesome football game, got MVP. Yep. Uh, it was the first time that New Orleans had been to the Super Bowl, and, and uh, he just did an awesome job. So. Uh, that you did a was, great job of capturing the chaos right there in the middle of well, the pass play. Well, that's the thing, the difference between a photograph, say, and a painting. Mm -hmm. uh, a painting can really, you can really, uh, you take artistic license, but you can create a whole lot of motion mm -hmm. and intensity in a painting that sometimes a photograph doesn't carry. Mm -hmm. And so, and of course, all the paintings are not based on photographs, they're based on an interpretation. I, I switch it around and change it, so there's actually not a photograph of that particular right. moment. Well, Bill, we're excited to have you the rest of the week yeah. showcasing different paintings from the different Super Bowls in the past. So we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. All right. I look forward to that. Thanks Bill so Bledsoe, much. Good to have you on the show. Great to be here.